Hi, I'm Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles on site at the New England Motorcycle Museum. This bike, where this bike is on display right now, this is an absolutely awesome machine. One of my favorite on and off road motorcycles made. It's actually one of the largest dual sport motorcycles ever made. It's an 1150cc horizontally opposed twin engine. Uh, it's a BMW R1150GS with electronic engine management. This 2002 model was an upgrade from the previous models. It has a six speed transmission. And because it's the on off road model, the first gear is a little bit lower than the standard GS. And it, uh, the six speed is not an overdrive. So it's a little bit tighter uh, ratios on the transmission. So it actually performs a little bit better. The electronic engine management for this bike allows it to run on a lower quality fuel so you can take it to third world, world countries and it'll, it'll adjust and, and not have the engine knock. So it's really a uh, very technically advanced motorcycle. This bike, although it's an enduro bike, actually is amazingly handling on the road. I couldn't believe how well this thing handled. I took it out for a few rides and I love it. I wish we could keep it, but we're selling it to raise money. Uh, we're a 501-3C nonprofit, so all the money for the sale of this bike is going towards the construction of the New England Motorcycle Museum, so the money's going to a good cause. This bike was supposed to be staying on display in the museum, so if you want to donate it back to it uh, for a tax deduction, you can donate it back to us uh, to stay here on display. But this bike uh, has, uh, was uh, built for a, a dual purpose use. It has a 7.9 gallon gas tank. This bike is the same bike that set the Guinness World Book of Records for the fastest circumvention of the globe on a motorcycle. In 2002, they took this bike and it's set up for, uh, you know, Paris and Dakar type riding. Or my, a friend of mine, uh, actually Mark Summers, took one of these to Canada uh, uh, from Connecticut and they did a blog on that. So uh, this also set the record for the Pan American Highway uh, traversing. Um, just an awesome machine, super, superb reliability, high, high tech BMW. It handles like a sport bike. You can embarrass sport bike riders with this thing with 85 horsepower and all the notorious torque of the horizontally opposed uh, twin engine. This bike will ride wheelies. Uh, you can pop wheelies on this thing, you wouldn't believe, like you wouldn't believe and uh, you can embarrass sport bike riders with it and you can uh, uh, use it as a touring bike. It has over a, a hundred liters of storage in the, um, this is an uh, upgraded uh, mono key system by Jivi, G-I-V-I. It has a removable saddlebag, so if you want to go on a trip into town, you can take the saddlebags off and uh, have changes of clothes in there or put your helmet in the back or your rain gear. It's set up for, you know, uh, also two up riding. If you have a wife or a girlfriend uh, you want to take on the back, um, it has a nice backrest on it. The saddle on this was also upgraded. This is a $900 saddle. Um, it's by Sargent. It's an absolutely gorgeous, brand new condition. There's over $3,000 in extras on this bike between the saddle and the, uh, the, the uh, saddlebags and the Metzler tires that it has on it. Uh, this model was also upgraded from the factory with the heated grips. Uh, which is really cool in the handguard. So on a cold winter day, you're going to be all set. You've got the fairing you can tuck in behind. And also they put PR running lights on here, which look really high tech on these uh, stainless steel brackets. So these are the dichroic reflective halogen lamps are super bright. Um, this bike is equipped with parallel, parallel front suspension. So it doesn't dive under braking and it has the um, telelever, excuse me, telelever in the front paralever in the rear so it doesn't dive under braking conditions and with the sticky wide metzlers you can embarrass sport bikes with this thing and if they take the bait uh, well you've got 85 horse to back it up so um, it's a lot of fun ride wheelies take it off road ride it on the street use it as a commuter it's excellent on fuel mileage and with eight seven point nine gallons in the tank you're not gonna have to fill up much I'm 50 years old I don't like the Hayabusa bent over sport riding stance. This is super comfortable. Um, I want to show you something here. This bike has highway pegs also, which is really cool. If your back starts getting a little sore, I have a sciatic nerve problem and I've got to move my legs up a bit. You, you've got not only your standard position, but you've got this to reduce the, the stress on your sciatic nerve and your lower back. And you've got this super high-end core uh, aftermarket seat. So um, it's just a kick-ass machine. And uh, let me show you something here. It also has an LED uh, brake lights in the back. Um, yeah. You're gonna get noticed on this bike. Uh, if you don't, you got a train horn on this bad boy. It's got blinkers. So uh, the engine's super quiet. It's uh, you know, it's got the stock exhaust system on it. If you take a look at the exhaust, it's the uh, factory stainless steel system, which is a lifetime system. Bike runs perfectly. Um, so uh, it's just an awesome machine. Um, 
I can't think of a better all, if you had to have one motorcycle, this is it. And if you're going on a long distance trip and you want to have a little bit of fun on the way, unlike a traditional touring bike, you can take this thing off road. Um, and it's, uh, it has 57,000 miles on it, which is nothing for this engine. This thing, obviously, it looks brand new. So uh, it's got a couple of beauty marks. I think there's a couple of tiny nicks in the paint on the front here that you see. Uh, um, but uh, it's obviously been in stored indoors and well cared for. Uh, the other, there's one other issue the motorcycle has. It has a slight leak on the rear pinion back here. Um, which is something you have to take it to a BMW shop. There's a special tool to do it, otherwise we would have done it here. Uh, so it's got a slight leak in the back right here. It's not leaking right now because once it goes down past the seal, it won't leak anymore. So um, we actually changed the fluid in there and it leaked until it got to that point. So it's uh, totally drivable the way it is, but you should have that seal fixed. Uh, if you have any questions about the bike, give me a call, 860-916-9784. My name is Ken. I have my phone on me 24/7. This is a kick butt bike. If you want to, uh, if you want to come take a look at it, I'm also going to do a quick video of us riding it. So, um, should we do it this now? You want to follow me outside with it? It's going to be kind of a long video here, but Chris, can you give me a push off of this? This is an awesome bike, and uh, this bike new was around 17, 16, 17,000 out the door. Um, the new versions of it are well over 20, and with all extras in it, on this bike, there's over $20,000 invested into it. So you can buy this bike for a fraction of uh, what it would cost for a new one, and your taxes will be lower, and they've already fully depreciated, so whatever you buy it for, that's what it's going to be worth. It might even start going up in value at this point, because it's at the bottom of the depreciation curve. So you can't go wrong. This is an awesome bike, and the money's going to a good cause. Uh, appreciate your, uh, your uh, bidding, and uh, good luck, and God bless. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you.